inviting me to the Rhode Island Beekeepers Association. Um, I really like Rhode Island. <laughs> Always enjoy going, coming to Little Rhodey, I get that. And uh, seeing Narragansett Bay, we're just over um, poking around and, uh, uh, by the Naval War College and things like that over there. It's a fascinating state, beautiful state. And kind of a state, I guess, uh, and I, I just love the fact that you're the smallest state. That's <laughs> Charming, I guess you might say. Cool. Cool, yeah. Distinctive. <laughs> well, uh, I was asked to give a talk today, and, um, and uh, Liang uh, asked me to speak about on the topic that uh, relates very much to being a honeybee. It's how a honeybee colony, how a honeybee colony functions, works, is organized to be efficient in its production of honey. And as you can see from the title of the talk, I'm, I'm going to be drawing heavily the analogy of a bee colony's honey production. I think of the colony even as a honey factory. You might wonder why, why use this factory metaphor. There we go. Hold on one second. I'm going to jump right in. Rotate it. Okay, does that work still? Is that a little better? Yeah, it's better. Yeah. Good. How many people have extracted honey and had the pleasure of watching the honey come out, stream out of the extractor? Yeah. Remember the first time you saw that? Like, wow, that's amazing, a river of honey. Okay, so everybody's, a lot of people have seen that. Probably many of you have seen this, at least in a grocery store, the wonderful display of jar after jar or squeeze bear after squeeze bear of honey. And I like to say that I think this plastic squeeze bear, I'm not a fan of plastic anything actually, but the plastic squeeze bear is a lovely way to, uh, uh, to, to enjoy honey. It's, uh, it's clean, it's kind of cute. What I want to do today though is not look at the final product the extraction process or the bottling process or anything like that, we're going to focus in the production, how a colony makes its honey. I hope that's not my car. That car's it's... still going. There it goes. So we're going to be looking, going inside the hive and looking at what's going on, what the bees are doing. And lower this a touch. Here's what I, this image explains why I use the analogy of a factory, thinking of a colony as a honey factory. It's because, first of all, when you think about it, a colony does like in a manufacturing process, at some point there are raw materials that are taken into the process, and then there's a finished product. In the case of the bees, the raw material, of course, is nectar. Finished product is honey. What goes on in between often is, involves a division of labor, stages in the, in the production process. And that's what we also see in a honeybee colony. There's bees working outside the hive, the foragers that go out, collect, go to the flowers, collect the nectar, of course, come back to the hive, come, in the come just inside the entrance of the hive, and there they unload or pass off the nectar over to these food store bees. Young, uh, and we'll talk about these bees. These are younger bees than the foragers. What they do is they take the fresh nectar Tom, and process it into the finished product. Can I just announce this car? Yes. Okay. 